Well, we're back in the attic. Finally. So to speak. <laughs> Close so enough. We're, we're actually able to go up into the attic with with uh, a new hip and and various uh, anyway. But we can get up and down the ladder smartly now. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we're down here just because it's easier. Exactly. It's, it's softly, more comfortable. Well, down here. exactly. There's uh, it's a close fit up there right it's now. It's a close <laughs> fit. There's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. up there. A lot of caca. And we brought some of that caca down here to sort of review. And what we're going to be doing is unboxing. My latest acquisition, this is an AMS, uh, which is AccuCraft, but they always call their plastic stuff AMS. And brass stuff is AccuCraft, AMS. Uh, anyway, this is one of the neatest large scale narrow gauge cars ever created, ever by anybody. It's their uh, drop bottom gondola. Wow. And always been a fan of the drop bottom gondola. Mm -hmm. If you remember, we did a show uh, with Don Hendrickson. We did. And his half inch scale drop bottom, 100% scratch, same car. His is this big, this one's this big. Um, but everybody's doing half inch scale back then. Okay, let's see if I can coax this guy to come out of the box. Uh, Do you want me to push? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Foam widget fram mm -hmm. for packaging purposes, which is good because especially heavy, large scale stuff is so easily damaged. Yeah, it just scares me. The to heavier death. and bigger it is, the easier it is to damage. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. And yeah, it's just sad to see something fall off a track and get damaged. It makes me want to cry. Well, and we just bought some wild cars that were damaged that were damaged in they, shipment yes and they're just because they're big and they're heavy mm -hmm. and uh that doesn't really want to open it geez okay that's opening it we'll we'll encourage it there it is oh wow it's certainly well packaged um i'm like an yeah. expectant <laughs> parent here it's gonna don't let but, it fall uh, out they they don't want to have to replace these because they were damaged in packaging and so yeah. in packaging and shipping and shipping and packaging and yeah. packaging the weight of these large cars that's exactly why they have to be packaged so well weight is just the death of these things mm -hmm. that if they get bashed and, and they're not in shipping which and they shipping, will oh you've they, already got a oh no i thought it was broken it just do the the tear in the paper inside i thought it was on the loose see yeah. i'm nervous Everything seems it's okay. It's kind of banded. The brake wheel's a little tweaky tweaked. No big deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to go back in the box. It's going to stay out. It's going to have to. Because it's we run the risk of damaging it just trying to put it put it away. Wow. Anyway. Oh my. The the principal motivation behind buying this other than the fact that it's my favorite mm -hmm. narrow gauge uh, car of all time. Wow. Is that uh, we're building that 20 scale coaling tower. Right. And I think you're building the coaling tower, but we have all the Somebody's parts. Somebody's gonna build the coaling tower. Yeah, and, and, and you have to get the coal from the drop bottom gone into the coaling tower. So you need two of these uh, mm -hmm. to make your coaling tower look correct. And that's really what these are, are for. Wow. But the, the detail, the detail, and the thing about a drop bottom gone is there's just so much going on on the underside. Who would know unless yeah. you looked under there, right? Uh, uh, when Don was building his scratch build, it was like you've got to be kidding me! Like you've got all of the same uh, brake rigging and truss rods that you'd find on any car, but then all of that mounts to a center sill which then is below the actual bottom of the car because the doors need to open and they open and close ratchet from here. Now these don't work. Right. No, no need for that. Now, two things that are jumping out at me that I'm going to change, uh, the inside of the car. Now, I'm certainly planning to weather the car, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna find the inside of a narrow gauge car that's painted. Well, it wouldn't last long. It not would with not, coal in no, there. You drop one load of coal in there, you're and by done. the time you're at your destination, there's no paint mm -hmm. left inside it's there. It's black. So that's going to be dirty and wood and gray wood and splintery, and I've got to figure out exactly how to do that. 
The other thing that's sort of jumping out at me is how clean and crisp the edges are here. And as they drop material into these things and cold and ballast and whatever bashes against the top board, uh -huh. the top board gets really beat up. So I'm going to be doing some extensive um, uh, distressing of the top board. Not because I don't I don't care for things that are really He wants too to make it look yardy. like my dad's Ford pickup truck. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but in theory that uh, just a few little things and other than that some dust and grime and dirt and there you go. fun stuff and <laughs> and here again the the brake handle is going it's to take a little. Uh, a little, you know, and actually that's very prototype because just as this one's poking up into harm's way, so it's the real one. And uh, they get bent. They get bent all the time, so that's that's realistic. This board here, by the by, why there's a board across here, is so that a, a brakeman can stand up here and work the brake wheel. They can mm. climb the, the grabs here and stand here to. Hope work. he hangs onto that thing when they take out the slack. Oh, I hope that. Yeah, I hope he's nowhere near it when they take out the slack. No, he might. One, be. Of, one of the neat things about these cars that I really like is that the the uh, the couplers work. Oh. If you when you couple in, they close, and then when you pull up on the release handle, that actually releases it. Wow. So if you're into some kind of minimal operations, it's like grabbing the release handle and actually uncoupling the car. How fun. It's how you do it. You don't go in with a little wood pick, like in the smaller scales. No, you just <laughs> do like you would do on the real railroad. You just grab it. Get a corn dog stick. Just, that's more like you it. You just grab it. Now, <laughs> everybody that knows anything about me knows if, if one is good, two is better. better. Here. Because like I say, you can't have a cooling tower without two of these. Uh, one that's already been unloaded and one that's waiting to be unloaded on the feed ramp. And uh, there's actually a window here. Not you that can you can see really see is. the car, but you can kind of see the car, but yeah. it's all still wrapped in paper. I'm not going to take this one out no. or we'll be here the rest of the day. <laughs> but um, they're expensive. They're Easily. expensive. Um, I think the retail price on them is around 180 But if you keep your eyes peeled on eBay and you talk to the right people and you schmooze and you do whatever you have to do, you can pick them up for 100 110. Mm -hmm. This one I got from Hans at Gold Coast Station because oh this they announced this coming out and he was taking pre-orders at a bargain price because the bigger his order the better the price he got. So, mm. so I picked this one up for I think 70 bucks. Wow. As a pre-order months before they were ever available. But I knew I wanted one so mm -hmm. there you have it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> the drop bottom gone by AMS. There it is. In plastic. In 120.3 scale for large scale railroading. There you go. It's really a great car. Mm -hmm. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Helps us out, helps you out. Everybody gets helped. The, mm -hmm. uh, all of the stars align and everything's good. And the easy way to get over there and become a subscriber and binge watch for the next three or four hours is to click the blue button. Are we ready? Here we go. Zoink! <laughs> the blue button right there. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Sunday with some driving around, drive around stuff. All right. See you then. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>